Uh, there. We're at uh, Phillips Auto today. We're dealing with a brake booster gone from a hybrid Hyundai Sonata. This video really applies to anything from 2011 to 2014 if you need to change it and we'll show you the problem. And uh, we're going to be with Tony and he's going to be taking us through how to fix it. All right, we'll catch up. So here we are in the car and uh, as soon as you get turned in the car and you turn it on, you're going to get this problem. Does check brake and uh, it says hybrid system. We're here with Tony, and, and so this right here is the master cylinder, right, Tony? Um, and the part that needs to get changed is actually right beneath it, the vacuum booster, and uh, it has a very specific code on it. It's I'll get it in the R1. So when you're finding this part, you have to make sure you find that part number. The first thing he asked me to do is uh, to disable the battery. So you have to disconnect the battery because the hydraulic pump is being powered. Um, so by disconnecting the battery, you know that it's going to be under, won't be under pressure. Go ahead and do that. Uh, disengage. Beside the battery here, there is the HEV battery. And uh, you want to disconnect that as well. It's very simple. You put this tab up and you pull down and as soon as you take it out that HEV battery is disengaged so here we are we're just disconnecting things to get to the um, to get to the part so pretty much remove uh, the, the air vents here the air filters I mean and uh, any wires that are being connected they just snap on a little more insight as to the parts you got to remove there's another snap-on connector right attached to the pump it's black and uh, you might need a needle a needle plier or um, just something long and straight to pop the uh oh, there you go so you look at that So the first thing you realize there is not enough room to get the pump out. So you gotta disconnect pretty much everything, um, everything in its way, including this orange cable. There was no access from the top. You had to put one of them. No. One of the bolts didn't have access, so you need to just get the car up and maybe I can get it. Try to look at it. You see it that far right? That bolt right there. So if you can see uh, the part. This is what the uh, the part that's going in looks like. See a couple bolts that hold it in there. You got this one here and on the other side. Two more. showing you on the spare there's two um, connections going to the pump as you see those you got to take the those, you got to disconnect them you're going to find a little bit of leak so maybe put an oil pan underneath the car if you don't want to get uh, there you go that's the second one it's coming off right now Next thing you want to do, I'm um, just showing you on the 
atmosphere, but uh, this hose clamp right here, we gotta remove that hose clamp. So we already, the first step, we took these two off. Then we're gonna take this off right here. See that? That's what it looks like when that's done. Uh, just to stop the leaking, one of the hoses connected to it. I want to put a bolt right there. It's going to keep bleeding out. And it's loose. Aha. Alright. So just to make more space, uh, we recommend you remove the uh, master cylinder. What's the mine? And uh, just connect the master cylinder. You'll be able to get access to that part. Just really just connecting that master cylinder right there, two bolts on either side, you can see the bolts. And uh, gives you enough room to be able to put in a new part. Alright, so... Uh, and now we're just putting everything back together. So with the old Sonatas, the, uh, the booster used to be connected right to the master cylinder. But uh, in this hybrid model, 2011 to 2014, even, even the newer years, 20, 2015 and newer, uh, they pretty much have a pump uh, that keeps the pressure in the master cylinder. And this is really uh, the new approach they're taking separate unit from the whole from the whole system. So you get it in place. You see that there's a, there's a hook right here that uh, has a slot in the body and then these holes align right here on the right hand side. They align with bolt holes. The first thing you do when you're putting the part back after you put the brackets and some of the screws is to come underneath to get access to that. Right and there's one bolt that you can't reach from the top so you gotta you gotta get to it from the back, from underneath the car. Just gonna put on the connectors, you know that one.
just make sure you're not missing any of the washers when you're putting these screws in to hold the connectors to the, uh, to the body block of the, uh, of the pump. They're very thin washers. Tighten everything, the brackets to the mount, tighten them down pretty good right here. And also these right here, I use a ratchet. It's a 10 mil, uh, actually I'm not sure what saw the side of this. So we had put a screw up earlier to hold the brake fluid from pouring out. And we take out the screw. Uh, there should be the, um, the hose clamp. We're going to use a needle hose plier. Bring that back down into place. the hydraulic pumps in place now all bolted and wired up I want to just put back the master cylinder um, head assembly so there's just a bolt and a nut Putting back this bracket right here. Remember, we took it out for extra space. Uh, it's attached over here to this bolt. Might be hard for you guys to see this. Just put those two bolts on and the top <coughs> over there. I'm gonna ratchet them down.
That, uh, that the orange cable be running, not intersecting the, uh, the fluid hose with all the brake fluid. access to that part down there and I'll probably just pause the video here and uh, we'll pick up at the end when we show you the finish all right thanks guys so at this point when you're already uh, you want to start pumping the brakes and bleeding them just to make sure to get any air bubbles out and pull. To make sure there's no air bubbles and the resistance is fine. And maybe just put some brake fluid into the reservoir and have someone in the car pumping the brakes. And this is standard protocol. Pump it. So we just finished installing it. You can see the air is gone. Uh, it feels like a million dollars. This, that was such a big problem. You lose all brakes except your ABS ah. brakes when that problem happens. So 